Hello, this is Borna from Borna.tv, and I want to talk about a Warframe that has recently come out from Digital Extremes called Harrow. Harrow has recently been released on the PS4 and the Xbox One and has been out on the PC platform for quite some time, for a few weeks now. Uh, I want to talk about some of his abilities, the build I use, and how he's used in solo play and in team play. Now, one of the things about Harrow is that he's got uh, he's got four abilities like everybody else. But when I play him, I primarily focus on just a few of them. Uh, and a couple of them are situational. Uh, the first ability is called Condemn. And this will cast a wave of change that essentially is a CC that goes forward in a small cone. It's not very wide, uh, but uh, it, it basically will CC the enemies in place for a, a few seconds. Now, the benefit of this is that it will charge up your shields which will then feed into your second ability called Penance. Penance will sacrifice your shield boost from uh, Condemn to boost reload fire rate and while converting damage inflicted on enemies into health. So it's a very, very strong temporary buff. And, uh, you know, you can build around that too as well. I'll talk about that when I get to my builds. Uh, the third ability I don't use very often is called Thurible. This is a channel that Harold does, and uh, he will channel his energy into a thurible to generate a buff and each time you kill an enemy you will get energy channeled back to you after you know this buff is effective you'll get you'll get energy channeled back to you for every kill you get uh, like i said i don't use that very often but it's a good situational thing uh to replenish energy if you need it and the final ability is called covenant it will protect nearby enemies with an energy force and essentially convert damage into a buff so if you can see, Harrow is all about converting damage and converting things uh, into other things. Uh, you convert the chains into to shield, sacrifice shields into reload buffs, uh, convert his energy into energy buffs. So there's a lot of sacrifice and uh, benefits to sacrifice. It kind of fits the theme to Harrow. Rap, tack, tap. <laughs> but anyway... Um, this last ability, it will convert it to critical chance bonus for all those under Covenant, and headshots will even amplify it further. So those are Harrow's abilities, and like I said, when I play, I usually focus on one and two the most. Now, the build I chose to use for Harrow is more of a balance build. Uh, I call it a spam build because I spam my chains quite a bit with this build. Uh, so the highest amount of uh, investment I have is in efficiency so that I can spam my chains and use energy as needed. But I, I, I still find that I have an energy overflow with, even with this build. Uh, followed by range, uh, I want my chains to go as far as possible. So I got my range at 160. And uh, power strength and duration are below at 130 and 115. And you can play around with this. This is, this, by all means, this is not the build to use. Uh, this is just something I found myself comfortable with in both solo and in team play. Um, I can spam my chains. I have enough energy with efficiency to, you know, spam thurible. Um, not spam thurible, but use thurible if the team needs energy. And I have enough shield built up because I'm sp spamming my chains. Um, I have enough energy built up so that I can use my, my two ability to... Uh, to buff uh, buff myself and the teammates, so it's it's a balanced build, but uh, it's capable, I think, of doing everything in every situation I can think of. Now I do have an alternate build called Overshield, which essentially switches out Prime Vigor for uh, for redirection, and uh, this is an Overshield build. You start out with a lot of shield, so you can really use your two ability more so than your chain. So if you just want to spam that. Uh, you want to spam your buff on your two. I keep calling them by their numbers because I'm still not terribly familiar with the name, so I apologize. But if you spam your two, um, you know, this by by replacing redirection in here from Prime Vigor, you'll um, you'll be able to have a lot of shield to replenish that buff. OK, let's talk about solo play. And I'll just start this off and just say Harrow is really, really fun to play solo. Um, I thought it would be more of a team based uh, frame. I thought it would be more about buffs and debuffs and stuff like that. But I have a lot of fun thanks to this little gun called a nail and I also use my Sobek with acid spray. Um, so I like to solo a lot of infested dark sector missions, uh, survival or whatever. And um, <laughs> I got to say, man, when you when you CC a lot of mobs at once and you clump them all together, uh, you know, you really have the choice of what you can do. You can do headshots. You know, you can go for the spray with uh, with Sobex acid spray. 
um, and you know, it, it, to me, it's just a lot of fun. Uh, by all means, this is not the most optimal build. To me, this is probably one of the more fun ways to play solo. Um, and the Nell, if you haven't used the Nell, the Nell was introduced with Harrow. It is a secondary weapon with a sniper scope. And when you land headshots, it just gets n crazy. It just gets crazy. Your fire rate improves, your reload speed, and everything just, just goes up. And you couple that with Harrow's number two, which speeds up and buffs all that stuff. Um, you can you can go down some corridors and essentially create the shooting gallery <laughs> create a shooting gallery for harrow just spam your one and just go to town with the nail it is very 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 satisfying and you can you can get a lot of kills from this and i've gotten up to 20 minutes pretty easily on typical survival missions um a couple times i had to spend my my ultimate on my four to you know to block the damage temporarily and buff myself to get out of trouble but essentially, I run around with the shotgun and I run around with the Nell and I just melt a whole bunch of infested. It's very satisfying to play solo. And I, like I said, I don't find myself in danger of dying hardly at all. And finally, I want to talk about team play. With team play, I tend to focus on CC and Thurible mostly. Uh, I don't spend my two very often. But with the, the chains, I try to chain and um, I use Sobek with this build as well. Uh, I, I try to chain and, and just kill as much as I can and CC as much as I can. I'm showing off a very, very easy area. This is Jupiter IO. I farm a lot of meso relics here. And uh, a lot of times I come in here with newer people. Um, I don't think this group was new at all. It was actually a pretty good group here. But uh, newer people and sometimes they're, they're strapped for energy. And I think that's where Harrow is going to shine for me when I play with new groups is that I can use Thurible for about five to ten seconds it doesn't even take that long with the especially with the new changes they added to where the energy channeling has been improved um we can get about 20 to 30 energy per kill and it'll encourage all the new people to actually kill things and not necessarily just sit back and watch watch ember and watch equinox kill everything on the screen for you i like to take this in as a support frame for newer people because i can protect them and at the same time i, I can encourage them to actually kill things themselves and get used to warframe you know, with the, the new landscape projects that are coming out with the uh, Plains of Eidolon, uh, there's a lot of new interest with Warframe and a lot of new people are going to be coming into the game. And I think uh, as you encounter them, if you can come in and support them and teach them how to use the weapons that they have and not necessarily kill everything for them, uh, but try to keep them alive as much as possible so they can get used to it and replenish their energy. I think that would be a great thing because, you know, I, I went in, uh, I created a free to play account a while ago. And one of the things I saw, which I hadn't remembered, was that you're strapped for energy for a long time. You just, you can't really use your abilities because you use it twice and you're out of energy. You may not have a, a full-fledged flow, uh, flow module. Uh, you may not, you, yeah, you just may not have anything to, to help with your energy and energy efficiency. So as a new player, you know, having a, having a harrow around to constantly replenish your energy once you kill something. Is, is very very satisfying so i think that's the way i play i will play harrow in groups is that uh, i will use thurible a lot and i'll cc as much as possible so that's where that balance build comes in uh, it's going to be using quite a bit of energy so having some efficiency some efficiency is nice with generic focus um is just a comfortable way to play i can min max this and probably take some stuff off get more power strength and whatever but i think this is a comfortable fun way to play the frame all right so this is born from born.tv this is harrow and uh, this is the way I choose to play them, play him in solo and in team play. And I hope this video hope, helps you in the way you choose to build Harrow. I encourage you to be unique and try to build something uh, that's fun for you. And I hope my video gave you some ideas or maybe, you know, you could just use the build that I have to have fun as well. Take care, guys. Have a great day.